The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Thank you. Just kill it. Go, 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 go. Nice. You're a pro. The not done yet, not done. Kind of. You couldn't kill it in one swig? I thought you were a pro. They're kind of strong. Okay. You are rolling. Yay. You are live. Yes. And we've also You're live. And I can I can use that chugging not, thing we're, against we're, her. We're, we're, I can't line. chug. I've never been able what? to chug. You are looking live at a sold out Muddy River News studio. <sighs> yeah, no, I've never been able to chug. I will say. that I can't believe that. One time I went to Spring Street with a guy who graduated college. His name was Sammy and he was amazing. An amazing guy anyway, but we went, he <laughs> slammed uh, hey Luke. a pitcher. He knows Sammy, <laughs> but he slammed an entire pitcher. Like he can, he's one of those guys who can just like open his throat. Yeah, one of he, my exes did that too. And I was like, uh, you're, you don't have the gag reflex. You're like, next. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Uh, no, I was like, oh my God, that was amazing. There were a couple other stupid tricks that happened that night, but I won't wow. get into that. But yeah. Well, no. Not like that, Bob. I, I didn't God. say a word. Yeah. I, I I didn't say that. All right. Anyway, just because you perceived it. No. Don't. Put that I know. Rolling. Okay. Before we never. really get rolling, I would never do that. Yeah. So full of shit. Before we get rolling, I want to thank uh, Brittany for making the cocktail of. Uh, I figured the if evening. I was gonna fill in for Frank, I have to. Step up your game. Yeah, and do something that, you know. Well, I now know. Frankie has to step up his game. So That's you right. That Frankie. That's right. She brought uh, martinis. It's been a while since I've had a martini. So. He's coming back from Tennessee. He needs to bring back some really good hooch, I'm thinking. Mm. Martinis with blue cheese. Stuffed blue cheese, blue blue cheese olives. Olives. Mm -mm. I'm not a martini mm. guy, so, but those those look good. Thank you. You want to try it? I'll try a sip. There you go. I, I did it's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm. it's not a, it's just not my, no, it's not never been, it's never been my thing. No, never it. been my thing. It's very I love good. a good martini. Me too. So. Anyway, thank you. Um, real quick, who makes the best martini in town? Brittany. Besides me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I do think, I, I always tell everyone this. Um, my favorite person is Danielle from the Abbey. Yeah. So we go on Thursday nights. I love her martinis. And then um, Heather at Tiramisu. Yeah. If you can catch either of those two. You yeah. are, you know that you're going to get a good martini. Yeah. Well, this is pretty good. So thank I'm you. Gonna, yeah, I appreciate it. I'm putting you on my list here. <laughs> so we are, um, as we uh, record this program, as we said, Frankie's uh, do, working his day job. Ashley won't be here next week. She's working her day job. Womp so womp. you might be back again. Womp womp. No, I'm womp kidding. Womp. I love my day job. But. <laughs> and uh, but uh, while we are here and we are able to easily accommodate and be flexible and have people come in and out, the House of Representatives cannot do that Duh. because. It's Kevin McCarthy's had not, there've been nine votes for speaker and Kevin McCarthy has lost all nine. Were, how many of those were, were there more than one for him today? Yes. Yes, okay. multiple today, yeah. Like they like say, they're, they just, I just have checked before we got on nine. Have you actually oh, yeah. watched it? Oh Did yeah. Secondhand what a shit show. <laughs> It is seriously yeah. like a theatrical performance. Well, we just had our first nomination for Donald Trump to be speaker, and I'm actually surprised it took this long. I thought that would have happened earlier. He, he got one vote. Yeah, but he got he got a vote. I would have thought I was expecting some sort of coalition of these 20 some odd people who are or just the never Kevin people. Yeah, I was expecting them to start coalescing and trying to uh, do the thing with uh, the former president. But. I will say so. OK, the theatrical experience that I when I was watching, I was like, really, is this really is this really what's happening? And it sounds very anti-American of me, but it is quite the contrary. And I think watching this uh, menagerie of BS happen, you know, at the Capitol, it's it's insane to if, me. If this were about policy or if this were about I guess it is a little bit because the, this group of 20 is mostly a group that just wants to not have government. They just want government to grind to a halt. They just don't want to do anything. They want they think we spend too much money. They want to which. OK, there's there's a little bit of that. Well, they're accomplishing but they don't that. have a plan. It's like, OK, what is your all? It's any time I, I get frustrated when people are naysayers about blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, what's your plan? What's your idea? What, what do you bring to the table? It's like, no, I just don't like that. Well, I, no, you have to have. Well, but hang on, because I need to understand, because admittedly, I'm an idiot when it comes to what this process is all about. I understand the speaker. Um, but how does this process get started and what? So all I know right now is 
we they're looking for a majority mm -hmm. vote. Mm -hmm. We cannot get that. So we have a guy, this Kevin guy, who's basically saying, okay, if I give you this, will you give me a vote? He's basically giving away all of his power as a speaker yes. to get votes, yes. which is asinine and backwards, counterproductive, counterintuitive, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But in the meantime, with all of this happening, everything that, that the House is responsible for, the Speaker of the House, is at a standstill. These new members haven't even been sworn in yet. At Their all. first act of being representatives is to elect a speaker. Then that speaker then presides over them all being sworn in. These people haven't even been, they're not even in yet, in office yet. Okay. And as I'm watching this go down, everyone around the room, right? Yeah. They're just uh, seeing how many the, Twitter feeds there, how many, how many Twitter likes they're getting. They're checking out, they're putting themselves on TikTok. How much do these people get paid TikTok. while they're not working? Well, they're not getting paid anything yet because they haven't they're been sworn not? in. No, uh, all the people in that room. They have not. Well, there's aides and there's like people, staffers and stuff. They're getting paid, but the 535 members of Congress, no, they they will eventually once this gets settled. Okay, but yeah, I don't think but they're not getting paid. Well, I don't not. think how you can get. I mean, they make roughly 185 grand a year. I just don't see how you can pay somebody like okay, say this lasts to the end of the month, and then they like want payday, and it's like, well, you, you, you don't have do the anything. job. Yeah, you don't. You how can? But you know, I, hell, who knows what's going to happen. Anyway, yes. this is the longest it's been since 1923. And then what was going, I mean, Mike and I were discussing this a little bit at lunch. Cause I said, I'm like, it's the longest since 1923. What was going on during that time? And it, I mean, it was mostly just, I well, think. women could just barely vote and blacks mm -hmm. couldn't vote. So there were a few differences back then. I mean, as far as that goes, but of why they couldn't come to agree. You had, this, I, again, it was, it was, it was, it was, I think it was Republicans. Prior to that, it was civil, civil war. war. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, what's our big, our big uh, standstill now? And I think it's just extremists, you know, yep. you're extreme yeah. left, you're extreme yep. right. There's no meeting in the middle. So what we just said, you know, Civil War, then it was 1923. Yeah. Um, here we are in 2023. Yeah. And what's the problem? Ex being an extremist. extremist. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's pretty insane. And, and it's party against party. I mean, it's just, it's. I don't know. Well, it's interparty. I mean, you got these. Party. Yeah, I, I, that's what I mean. It's, it's interparty. You've yes. got 20 it's Republicans who mm -hmm. can't get along, who don't want to do what 200 Republicans want done. Yeah. And it's and they can't sway enough votes from the other side to get what they need. And again, yeah. how long is this going to drag out? Uh, eventually, they're going to find a, they're going to have to find a compromise candidate because I just think because they just have to have five people hold out. And I, I think they've definitely have five people who are, who are in the Nevin, Never Kevin group. Like, so, no, OK, not so Never Kevin's. We'll call them. What? Uh, okay. Who so do they want. Yeah. Byron? Some want some want Jim Jeffries. Some want my, uh, Steve Scalise. Um, some want uh, yeah the Byron, other guy, whatever yeah the, Tom yeah the other fellow. Those those are the ones who've been bandied about. Of course, the Democrats are all voting for Hakeem, Hakeem. Jeffries mm -hmm. to be their guy. Yeah. And I mean, one radical thing would be, hey, what if five Republicans said, okay, we're going to vote for the Democrat? I said that, that would be today. Chaos. And, um, Mike. Mike's said no that would never probably not happen. But, yeah, but there's a lot of i mean there's a lot i don't want to say unprecedented because i hate that freaking word since the pandemic but there are a lot of things happening that you really wouldn't think would happen in and it happens and it happens mm -hmm. and then uh i'm not saying that i just don't understand i don't understand this the kevin i don't understand how he would just say well if if i give you this Will you vote? If I, get, get, if I get rid Kevin of Kevin McCarthy but, has wanted to be speaker his lifelong. entire life. And that's what this all but, boils. But, but this is speaker, his goal. This is his brass but ring. He's giving, he's getting rid, he's giving away all as of long his. as he can. Well, he moved in the office before the vote, which was really stupid. But <laughs> at the end of the day, if he's, if he gets to throw the gavel down to be Kevin McCarthy speaker of the house, he doesn't care. He'll only he be speaker of the house for two years, yeah. but, but he doesn't care that all of his no, power, I quote unquote power is gone. Cause because I, he's negotiated. I don't know if I'd trust him though. I it, yeah, would you, can, I mean, no, is, this guy has backed no. out on deals and all the other, I mean, yeah, they're going to say they do this. I sold my soul to the, devil to be on muddy river news you better not let me on here <laughs> he's nodding his head like i already did no but you well, know what i mean you fail to read the fine print yeah but it's he like can promise away his powers or yeah make promises right we, yeah look we but see this we see yeah, this but everywhere in totally politics call it but the, this locally yeah. right now yeah, yeah but the right. one poison pen is the fact that they he has a signed off on an amendment that he can be recalled with one vote 
like they can it used to be you had to have x number of uh representatives who would say we want to call the chair for a recall well now they've like they so this can go on a floor for a vote with one person wanting that but didn't did isn't that one thing that he conceded yeah oh yeah absolutely so did. that's what i mean like you're giving up your I, it's just an, i don't know yeah. but anyway watching it actually on unfold on tv um i did watch uh one of the guys who nominated or whatever you call it this yeah. kevin guy um his speech was very well put together. He made a lot of great points. Basically, you know, my fears are the same as your fears. We, you know, we want to make sure that this is, um, you know, that what we're doing is the right thing for America. And, and he even mentioned everybody, you know, looking around the room, he said, we can't as a, you know, as a group of people, we can't just say we're going to come in here and make change and then sit here on our phones and not, you know, not, uh, negotiate and not work together as a team to make, uh, make the American people's lives better. When I look around this room and I see everybody on their phone, that's each and every one of us we have to do better. Right. And that spoke volumes to me. That's the only thing that I was like, yep, this guy, I don't know why he's not in the running, but <laughs> yeah. he probably should be. Because he understands that all of these asshats getting paid or not getting paid, sitting in this room representing us, uh, scrolling through their phone while this is at a stalemate. It's like just at some point we have to come together mm -hmm as Americans, as a team, as something and move forward. Well, our representative, Mary Miller, is one of the 20 who's opposing Kevin McCarthy. And okay. I've reached out to her press people in New York or in New York, in D.C. So I'm uh -huh. hoping we'll have a chat with her at some point cool. during this process. So That'd be very cool. Brittany brought up uh, our, our own local um, situation, which, while quite not on that magnitude, still hits close to home. It is locally. locally, it is. Yes, because, um, you know, we've got a situation where the mayor uh, has some questions with how Adam Yates uh, became police chief and. Of course, we all remember that in the beginning. When uh, Mike Trope was first elected, he wanted more power, more influence, more whatever in the hiring process. And, and the uh, police and fire commission believe they gave that to him in, in these regards. Um, and then so uh, once uh, the police process went through, um, a police chief was hired, was the first choice, uh, fell out of Chicago. Uh, he turned down the job because the pay and benefits wasn't enough for him to make the move. And then so the number two guy on the list, Adam Yates, became chief. And we all thought, oh, okay, all well and good and done. But now uh, Mayor Trope has received uh, some information, which he believes the process might have been uh, tampered with. And he is requesting an investigation from the um, Office of the uh, Appellate Prosec State's Attorney's Appellate Prosecutor, statewide organization. So that's where we are with that. And uh, that uh, store, some, a story that uh, we broke here on Muddy River News, and there's been a lot of uh, discussion on it. And I uh, wanted to kind of pick your brains about this on what uh, what the, what is the public perception on this when people look at city hall and this kind of stuff what, what are they thinking uh i'll go first and then you can argue or you know mm -hmm. counter whatever if you need to but i think uh first and foremost uh regardless of the reason i am all about transparency i know you are as well um if there is question about um the integrity of an election of any kind i think it needs to be revisited uh, that's one thing that I think is so important, especially in, um, you know, local law enforcement is integrity and honesty. And if either of those were jeopardized in this process, I think it needs to be revisited. And I don't know, uh, I don't know specifically why I know some things about it. Uh, I'm glad that it's happening now. I don't like the fact that it is, no, I'm not going to say I don't like it because it's natural for people to, unless you know the story, it's natural for people to, to invent their own narrative. Uh, but it's going to be really interesting to see how this all unfolds. And uh, I wish the best for everybody involved. Uh, but yeah, I hope, you know, I hope the truth comes out. And that's about, that's about it. I mean, I know there, you know, Yates is, he's always been uh, favored in, in kind of in that position. I don't, I know of him i know a little bit about him i know he's very good on paper i know he's great on social media i know that but i don't know anything else about him i, I hope i have him on social media i just realized yeah. that no i uh, i don't think i i don't think i'm it's friends the with him department it's the police stuff. department but okay. it's just you know when you are uh when you're a social well when you're a public figure mm -hmm. and you're good socially on social media and everything looks great i'm not saying this is against yates by any means right. this is just a you know but uh, if, if it turns out that something was, something was tampered with and it wasn't, it wasn't on the up and up, then I'm sorry that 
yeah, this is the way things are I happening. Think, but I, it I mean, ha- I agree important. with what you're saying about transparency, integrity, everything with that. Um, I do think that uh, I don't. I don't know. I guess I, I look at it with I. I don't know the whole story, so I can't. Um, put my judgment out there right now. My judgment is saying, um, we're going to have to do an investigation. Who's paying for this investigation that, you know, that's my thought process all the time. Um, I do think that, uh, the candidates that were on there, like Adam Yates and, um, Shannon Pilkington and, uh, Josh or Jonathan Lewin, they were the third there. Well, there were four finalists. Kathy Schistler Schistler. was the fourth. Kathy, um, pulled her name out as soon as the list came out, then it was between, um, the two local guys and then the fellow from Chicago, which I think they all have, um, experience, you know, behind Mm -hmm. them. That's my biggest thing was right now. I, I do think the right person got the job out of the experience standpoint, um, Mm -hmm. experience and. Is I guess the biggest thing years. I, I know age doesn't matter. Like age shouldn't be a thing, right. but um, it is when it comes to experience. So yeah. <clears throat> when we're talking about, I I don't really I don't know what we're supposed to release and what we're not supposed to release. So yeah. it's like well, when we're talking I mean, about. Just, but I mean, like you know, when you're when you're talking about okay, so let's just say like uh, credentials may be different than experience. If you have someone who is. Uh, great at what they do. They have credentials. They have a laundry list of things and maybe something happened that they didn't get their name in the running for one reason or another. Mm-hmm. Um, and it turns out that that's, but just, that shouldn't but, have happened. But, okay. Then that, on that note, now that shouldn't have happened. And that person um, didn't get their name in the running. Does that mean that um, we need to flip this? <clears throat> entire uh like have an investigation flip this entire i don't think the the decision would get flipped yeah i understand that um the process might change right which that i i i i I agree with okay maybe maybe the process does need to be changed yeah but um i guess highlighting it and saying that maybe this needs to be flipped is that a possibility i don't don't think so i don't know i i Again, would it just depends on what the investigation goes, and you also have yeah. to remember this investigation is going to take a long time right. a because of the yeah. and a lot of money and the and city. I mean, obviously, the city's going to be the ones picking up the tab because they're the ones who request the investigation. Right. But hey, you know, we've got all of uh, Brittany's food and beverage money that can just go right. to that, so we're okay there. Well, they I will say, they spend that on that. They can spend that on whatever they want. Yeah, it's like unrestricted funds. As I long think. as they go to the council. Yeah. They have to go to the council would have to approve that. So I was being facetious, but hey, if seven people plus the mayor vote and say, yeah, let's spend food and beverage money to invest, okay, sure they could. In regards to the, okay, backing it up real bit. Um, beep, beep, when I said beep. the whole local promises thing, I think, and like the agreement thing that we were talking about, the the outside of the chief of police investigation sure. thing that we are the thing that I was referring to is the police contracts. Right. How um, the mayor, you know, we, he made promises saying the police and fire are my people. I've, I've seen this floating around because I know that they are angry and this little quote meme thing has been floating Who's around. Um, the, the police and fire are kind of angry. Departments, but, both departments. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. But the police okay. are the ones who don't have a contract right now. They've and been they've working been, with a contract for a while. Without but, a contract for over a year, mm-hmm, and that's yeah. the longest in wow. our our city history. Yeah, is so, that legal? Well, yeah, it is. It is, but they can't go on strike because public because uh, public safety people aren't allowed to strike in Illinois. Well, I would hope they wouldn't go on strike, but that's that's a that's a like priority one. Let's figure this out. Well, and I know I know for a fact they've had deals to the table that that have that have been brought to the mayor and the mayor just won't accept them. I mean, they have been worked out by the people doing the negotiation on both sides and it's the mayor's been the one who has not accepted those. Okay. So, well, is, does it have anything to one, do with what's happening no. with the no, investigation? No, but one it's of the issues okay. is the mayor does not want police, uh, personnel to be able to live outside of Adams County. And that's a concession that the police men want. They want to be able to live in, Hmm. Missouri. They well, I can't live even outside be of Adams County. Outside of Quincy. So, yeah, I mean, Wait, you can or can't. You can't. What? I mean, you have to get a, you have to get approval from that. You have to get an lodge. elk waiver. You do have to get a you have to get a release <laughs> from that lodge. So, maybe they could learn something from the elks. You're like, yeah. Get a release from that 
I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, like just kind of silly. That has been a... This kind of shit is like... It used to be, it used to be though, if you were an employee of the city of Quincy, you had to live in the city of Quincy. Years, that was a rule. And over the years, unions have... Instead of giving them more money, the city has given concessions like, okay, like, you can live yeah. in at you can live in Adams County, not just Quincy. Or in some cases, they've said you can live anywhere within a thirty mile radius, which would include Missouri, because okay. you've had some people who well, who've wanted to move to Missouri. You also have people who have worked for the city, lived in Missouri, and just kept an apartment and like P.O. box here, because that has happened in the past. So, what is the reasoning so, behind not wanting them to? I mean, making, you know, having the requirement that they live in Quincy, is it just... Well, if you're a firefighter and the WCU building's burning down, you probably want to also have them live relatively close. Okay, but they also have people on call. Mm -hmm. They have people who are off, Yeah. right? Yeah. They want their tax money. Well, I, I... kind of agree with that part of it though i mean they're getting paid by us and also the vote because okay. you know if you this is just my don't live in town you're not going to vote you know if you're going to be mad about like who the mayor is and you live in uh, and you live in ursa mm-hmm. guess what you don't get to bitch because you didn't you can't vote for the mayor because you just work there well you, and then if you can't vote for the mayor and he has a little bit of any kind of uh say in your that just doesn't make any doesn't make a whole lot of sense yeah. Because, I mean, there are a lot of city employees who didn't want to vote for Mike Trope and might have wanted to vote for another guy, but they didn't live in town, so they couldn't vote. So guess what? Yeah. You're getting what you got. So how how long can they go without this contract, though? They're, they can just keep going sure. back and forth. I mean, the contract is... Kind of like the same as the house. They could just keep going. Yeah. And yeah, which will be oy, done oy, sooner? Oy, oy. Will we have a police and fi- a police contract or a speaker of the house? We should start that Ooh, poll. Let's do oh, a bet. One, yeah. Let's do oh, a bet. I think we'll have a speaker of the house well, before we have a police contract. Too, the police I mean, we better. Here. But either both are kind of embarrassing. Let's be real. Like, let's. We need an alderman too. We're still one down because Parker Freiberg stepped oh, down. Yeah. Remember, because he had that yeah. conflict, which yeah. I did kudos to him for doing that. Yeah. And, but now they're. They're haggling over a couple of people for that position. So we'll see. <sighs> no one can come to an agreement on anything. You know what? Everybody My, can I, We can come to an agreement. Show. We like to sit here and talk yes. and have cocktails. That's yeah. our agreement. Yeah. See? As much as I love learning about this, the more I learn, the more I'm like, Get what? Angry. I do. Because I. Me too. When, when did being an adult revert back to being in junior high? And I see it <laughs> everywhere I go. Yes. It's like, oh, not, nope. I got my soapbox and I'm not coming down. Like, and nobody is willing to, nobody is willing to budge. Oh, yeah. So, okay, here was my thinking. I think a kindergarten teacher should be the speaker of the house. Okay. okay? Because they have qualifications. That Special need, ed teacher. There you go. Or that. Because they have qualifications Ellen to Goss, negotiate in ways that these people would never even, you know, whatever. Uh, they know the important situations, the important topics to bring to the table. I just mm-hmm. think, yeah, I think you, we would be better off than a bunch of politicians to have a, to have an educator I or, want, yeah. I want, I liked the suggestion in our, I want Dwayne the Rock Johnson. There you go. <laughs> if you smile. There hey, you go. I think Frankie said, so when we were talking about the queen, uh-huh. he said, I asked who is one person in America that would create that big of kind of a hoopla. And it was said the rock. That's cha- Yeah. But also yeah. it's changed. Cause he's not as beloved now. Cause he screwed the DCU. Oh, he he freaking pulled the shit where he went over the top of the executives and yeah. tried to do the backdoor deal with Henry Cavill. And now yep. Cavill's out as Superman. I'm not happy yeah. with the rock. Rock's my guy, but I'm not happy. Yeah. With him over this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not happy with Henry Cavill. Oh, what's wrong with Henry? Oh, who's Henry guys. How do you not know? Who I know. Henry Superman. Is. Oh, but more or less the witcher. Oh, his other show. Yeah, okay. His other show. show. His other show. <laughs> like the better of the guys. Show. I'm out I'm out of the loop on a lot of Fantasy things. superhero stuff, not yeah. your bailiwick. Mm-mm. So or sports. All these contracts. Yeah. You have ruined these things yeah, for us. That's true. Too. Speaking of sports, mm. sports mom got to see her child perform <gasps> last a night. Sports mom. Okay, so I am the uh, Did you say did you do what I said and just go bump set spike? Yay! No. no, but I heard her yelling in her snaps. In my snaps, because here is what I am learning about myself is I'm more competitive than I ever initially thought because I didn't, I didn't compete. I wasn't in organized sports. I wasn't in really anything. Um, watching my daughter 
get out there. And she was a little nervous, and you could tell. But she scored a point or two, and I was the proud mom, you know. But I'm yelling, and Luke was like, Luke's picking his fingers. So as much as he makes fun of me for, like, being, you know, super, super yeller mom, he's just as bad. He just does it quietly. But I I know that I'm going to love this. Luke needs to invest in a shot collar for you. For <laughs> You know, when I was watching her play soccer, uh, he was like, just go stand back there if you're going to yell. Oh. Because I was, I mean, but you got to understand, I get well, very Brittany intense. actually coaches yeah. soccer. Yeah. So telling the people to like, whenever the parents come marching on the other yeah. side to talk to me, yeah. I have to throw my hand up and oh. like, I'm, I'm busy. I'm yeah. coaching. I'm oh busy. my gosh. So the coach on the other uh, team was very intense. And my youngest daughter was like, oh, I'm glad our coaches aren't like that. Oh. So shout out to Coach Wreckers and Coach Llewellyn because nice. they're amazing. And it definitely, uh, you can tell that the girls have fun. And that's, that's so important, especially the, when they're just starting. But out. the question is, when are the Comets and the Crusaders playing in the Crosstown Throwdown? I have not a clue. That's going to be the big one. But here's what I said being the, yeah. The Crusaders That's are, the Quin That's the that's Quincy the, Catholic parochial schools now un unite and they have okay. their own They've changed teams. Yeah. Yes. So I don't even know. CYO ain't know. around no more. But I will say, I, not the sports mom again, but I said last night, I need to know how these schools all stack up against each other because I need to know, like, <laughs> going start in. start doing a scouting report. Oh, I'm like this. Ooh. So, and then, you know, my, I don't know. It's Give just, me the information on Macomb, yeah. stat. It's just so fun. I never. Her and Matt are going to be best friends. Oh, my gosh. I never pictured myself in this uh, kind of role, but now I love it. And I yeah. asked Matt, I'm like, hey, uh, Ashley's going to go up for the, do you want a live report? And he went, no. <laughs> Not for me. All you hear is yelling. It, you'll hear yelling no. in this. Claire Pitt. <laughs> yeah. But no, it was so fun. And I'm so proud of her. And yeah, I'm excited to see what this team does. So That's awesome. thank you for bringing it up. Appreciate yeah, that. no, it was. Yeah. I saw your pictures last night. Yeah. It was Grace. Our, she was out there. And then, you know, when you came in, you were pretty proud. That's yeah, awesome. And again, I coached my kids and Brittany coaches Mela. And yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun when you get to watch and be a part of that. And yeah. first, especially when, you know, you are not a sports person ta not. at all. No. So That's it's a whole new world me. for me. That really yeah. surprised. You know, me. I tried out for cheerleading and it's made, not a sport. I made first cut. It, shut up. It's not a sport. We're not, we're not gonna I'm get gonna, into I'm gonna that. I'm going to get hate mail, but cheerleading is not a sport. It's harder than you think. I would imagine. I'm not saying I, it's not hard. I mean, I'm not going to go out there and do some backflip, but it's not a sport. And it's just kind of it's yeah, it's more it's intense. An but anyway, is ping pong a sport? Yeah, it's a sport. It's on ESPN. Oh. Get a ball. You know You're competing. You, know, you compete head to head against somebody. Chess is a sport. And you don't think who are you competing is a sport? against? Oh, the cheerleader at the game? Are you competing against the other cheerleaders? You no, seen, you're not. Have you yes, never you seen are. cheerleading competitions? Yes. I have seen cheerleading competitions. Have you ever They're heard, great. Have you heard? Yes, we have great. And right. I know our Palmers and our cheerleaders here. If they win all the time. Mail, They're great. They do a great job. It's yeah. just not a sport. Do you know but who they gets, do a great like, job. Do you know who gets the spirit? Do you know who starts the? Who gets the spirit? Who gets the pump? You know, the crowd pumped up and does that stuff. Cheerleaders. Think it's you. I know. I am. <laughs> See, this is why I made first cut, but then I was like, oh, none of my friends made it. I'm out. Oh, yeah. I can't I do like, the splits. Eh. Oh. I can't. Way to call me out, a hole. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. But if you can, I'd love to see it. Golf sport. <laughs> Golf is a sport. NASCAR sport. Yeah. But that, okay. I but they all it. take Ping skill. Ping pong is a sport. They take Pickleball skill. is a sport. I, I think they all take skill. It does take skill. skill. Absolutely, games. it takes skill. Games I think take skill, too. Yeah. These are games. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, chess is a game. I'll give you that. Games. Chess is, that's in, I can't Golf, believe ESPN game, had that on there. Ping pong. Uh, Bowl, St. Louis. What about bowling? Next time you have to that's go for your, that's the one that I was kind of like. Hell yeah, you're yeah, competing. Okay. That's a little. Next time you go to St. Louis for your day job, go to go to the Saint, the World Chess Hall of Fame is in St. Louis. You should go. I Okay. <laughs> sounds, sounds fun. I'm going to say okay. You know what, though? I did watch that chess um, show. Series. That was That's good. amazing. What yeah. was it called? Queen's Gambit. Yes. Yeah, amazing. About it's that a great show. But, um, okay, I will say cheerleading, yes, is a sport because it's intense and it takes practice. And anything that's physical. Anything, yeah. It doesn't have to have a ball. If you're or a puck. Or, or a car. Dance. Or Dance is a sport. That's not a car. Driving is it's competition. Really that physical? It's competition. It's, it's not if you're it's not competing. Is racing really that physical? 
you've ever seen these guys when they step yes. out of that car and they right. sweat and they I, look like you know what? I know I, why? I, I, you ever notice all those? And all I those sweat. That's not a sport. <laughs> hey, I call it a sport. <laughs> all those NASCAR guys are they are they're also all like five five one twenty two because they're hey, all think, they have the small to fit in the car do and do think everything. You can get Brittany and I into a race car, and I think that should be on our oh, list. Oh, yeah, we get that done. We get that done. I mean, you are you know pretty well associated with yeah like yeah. steve yeah we can get that yeah. done yeah uh, you're done. gonna sign a big ass waiver though because i'm not paying for <laughs> when when I she's, mean, I'm not when going she's laying in blessing like and can't move anything is eating out of a tube i'm no, not no, paying no, no, for no. that we're not driving so, uh, are we oh, yeah. i just want to drive okay well if i drive i'm not going i'm not going as fast i'm a chicken chip but anyway okay. i think it would still be fun okay. yeah and we need to come up with a list of other things that we need to you do. do. And we need David to also s- said you need to come up with your uh, bar list, your your summer sip thing, and yeah, go to all these other went. places. Yeah, you went to like two places and er, so yeah, I don't know. No, I don't have to encourage you to drink more, but I'm just saying yeah. that we need to do that this year. So. You are a bad, bad influence, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. On that note. Great topics. We had a good day. I feel so, like yes. we could talk about the, see, this sure. is our, we could talk for hours and hours and hours. Sure. We may never accomplish so, anything, but we never, we say the things that people, that's right. we don't we're have to talking. solve the world problems. We just want people to hear. We're not solving shit. We're no, just we're not. Shit. We're just shooting the shit. Yeah. That's what it is. It's, yeah. we're, it's like we're sitting at Brittany's bar doing this, except she doesn't have to and work I don't now. actually have to work. She doesn't have to work. Listen. She can enjoy. So. Yeah, awesome. Well, I'll see you next week then. Yeah. And then, well, you guys will do Coffee Talk on Tuesday. Yeah. And then coffee you got to, you're and gone. And then. Skedaddle. And I did, I did want to say real quick before we uh, okay. skedaddle, I don't think I've ever shouted out my day job and I don't want them to think that I'm like Aww. sliding them at all. I thought you were just trying to keep it secret. No, not at all. I work for a company called John Henry Foster and we do uh industrial automation and fluid power so if anybody in quincy needs that you holla <laughs> it's the best company really okay so, next they to money river well. they do treat me well next to i mean i'm i'm very i'm very very lucky so i just wanted to shout them out because i All don't right. want them to see it and be like you oh, never good. even said our name no that's great yeah. oh good no okay. I, that's great and yeah like All i said right. and uh so you'll do that next week yep. and then uh, but uh, everybody else have uh, have a great week and we'll see you next week see ya. Muddy River News, our home, our news.